Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 8 of season 3, 2022 in the iRacing IR04 Challenge, the fixed series. Once again with me driving the iRacing IR04 for the second time this season. This week's circuit is Nürburgring, the sprint strike layout and the date and time is set to the 6th of the 8th 2022 at 12 o'clock in the afternoon to match the official race time sent out on the season 3 PDF. All circuit guides are run with a fixed setup, so this would be the Nürburgring setup given to you by iRacing racing same format as before breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an off-board lap and as usual this is filmed before the week has begun so it's difficult to compare lap times but let's see if we can help you guys find some time so along the straight we go we're on the left hand side ready for the tight right hand hairpin of turn one we want to be far on the left as we go up into sixth gear and our first braking zone is just past 100 as the curb starts on the left hand side hard on the brakes from sixth down into second, trail braking towards the apex, watch the front right, it locks up slightly as the track dips away, get back over to the right hand side for the next corner, up into third, just a lift off for this, slight lift off, almost down to a full lift off, and then back on the power up into fourth on the exit. The next braking zone is a tricky one, it's just before the green turns into grey on the right, and you're going to be braking and turning at the same time, watch this, brake down to second, it's quite a hard brake initially, coasting in towards this apex, you want to cut this nice and tight, keep two wheels on the track, and then it's full throttle on the exit, it, opening up this right hand corner as you go up into third gear with a slight lift if you mount that inside curb so that you don't lose the rear end and you can use all the track on the exit as well as long as you keep two wheels inside that white line. The next braking zone it's another hairpinny type corner, 100 meter board on the left, hard on the brakes from fourth down into third this time. Hold it tight to the right hand, again the track dips away from you, hold it tight to that apex and then accelerate out to the exit. Back over to the right hand side now and our next turning point is the 50 meter board on the right. You just saw a slight dab of brakes, we kept it in fourth and then we accelerate all the way out to the right. Back over to the left, still in fourth. When you reach that left hand side, you dab the brakes again to get that nose in and then coast and accelerate through this next right hander. Using all the curb on the exit but be careful, you could hear the floor scraping along that curb and if that goes a little bit too wrong then it may spit you off and you don't want that in the race. Next corner is probably the trickiest one of this circuit. The braking zone is in between the 100 and the 50 metre board, just slightly closer to the 100, from 6th down into 3rd gear to keep the car stable. And your main aim is to avoid the inside sausage curbs. You can see there, we almost just about clipped that right one, but trust me, you don't want to mount them. If you can get your car nice and fast through there in that gearing, then you should be okay. The final braking zone is as that red and white patch on the right goes from flat to curb you're going to start turning in slowly apply the brakes down into third you can see we missed the apex completely but we carried the speed through in third gear straight out to the exit and straight back up into fourth for a 126.9 in the end let's go through all of that again but this time full speed uninterrupted so you can get a real sense of the lap so left hand side sixth gear curb down the gears into second towards the apex watch the front right lock get it back over to the right hand side as soon as you can up into third gear as you start turning in lift off slowly lift off try and keep the throttle on as much as you can and then depending on how confident you are get that throttle back on straight up into fourth green turns to gray hard on the brakes down to second cut this inside left open up this right as you go up into third slight lift if you mount the curb on the right hand side because you don't want to lose the rear end Keep it on the left now, 100 meter board we're looking for, hard on the brakes, fourth down to third, get it turned in, hold it tight, you could use second here, but I felt like the car was a little bit unstable, so third gear is what I ended up choosing. 50 meter board is when we start turning in with maybe a slight dab of the brake to get the nose in, straight back on the throttle to keep that power through. Again, same for the right hander, tap the brake, get the nose in, straight back on the throttle, be careful of that exit curve, you don't want to get dragged out by mounting that with your floor. Over to the right hand side, now keep it on the right for the extremely tight chicane coming up. In between the 100 and the 50 meter board, just past the 100, harden the brake, sixth, down to second gear, hit that first, third gear even, first apex, second apex, and then away you go. Second gear, too unstable again, that's why I ended up going for third. As the flat bit turns to curb, we dab the brakes, going to third gear, missed the apex completely, but it's not a bother because we carried the speed through nicely, through that final corner, and then across the line for that 126.9. Hopefully, that is going to help you find a little bit of time around this track in this car. As usual, that is pretty much it from me. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And let me know what you thought about this car, this track. Um, we don't normally do IRO4, guys, but we had two break weeks where the Aston and the Ferrari weren't racing uh, that we've already done before. So there was no point in redoing them. So yeah, tried this out. Let me know what you thought. Um, as usual, that's pretty much it from me. If I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.